Now we're going to configure first half redundancy protocol for IPv6. Before going to the actual configuration, we need to know these things like gateway devices could be layer 3 switch or a router should be enable IPv6 unicast routing that we know already in order to forward IPv6 unicast traffic we are supposed to execute command like IPv6 unicast routing on devices. And here we can only use link local addresses in order to implement first half redundancy protocol for IPv6 which is FE80. So we cannot use uh, local unique addresses or a global unique addresses in IPv6 for first half redundancy protocol. Similarly, if you're talking about LAN devices, they come to know about gateway using router solicitation. So inside LAN, there could be a PC or a printer or some other devices which want to access internet. They're supposed to get a gateway information using router solicitation. So basically, if you put or attach a router with or a layer 3 devices, with your LAN and you assign IPv6 in, uh, IPv6 address on this interface and enable IPv6 unicast routing. Any devices which is connected to the LAN, they can get information about their gateway using router solicitation message. And rest of concept going to be the same. And these are the protocol which support IPv6 first half redundancy protocol like HSRP version 2, GLBP and VRRP version 3. So in this section, I'm going to configure HSRP version 2 as well as GLBP. In upcoming section, I'm going to discuss lot about VRRP version 3, which is little bit different than uh, VRRP version 2. So let me bring my topology as well as console window so that we can configure first half redundancy protocol for IPv6. Again, I'm going to use the same topology where I have a router 1 and router 2, both router working as a host so that we can verify uh, first half redundancy protocol working as well as I have a switch 1 and switch 2 which is working as a gateway. In your case, your LAN devices could have Windows box or Linux box. So make sure they are setting, uh, make sure about their setting like they going to get IPv6 address automatically using router solicitation. In my case, I need to enable IPv6 unicast routing on all devices since I'm not using Windows, uh, Windows box or Linux box, which is working as a host right there. So same command going to be execute on every devices. So the first command going to be IPv6 unicast routing on all devices. And rest of configuration going to be only switch one and switch two. So on switch number one, VLAN interface one, which is connected to the LAN, make sure the interface is up as well as the standby version 2. So as we know or as we discuss is uh, HSRP version 2 going to support IPv6. So standby group number 1 and then after IPv6 address or IPv6 virtual IP address that we can configure which is link local address. In my, in my case I am going to use FE80 colon colon 1 as a virtual IP address. So I also need to enable IPv6 on this interface. Okay. Same thing I need to be performed on switch 2. So no shutdown IPv, IPv6 enable as well as standby version 2 and then after standby group number 1 IPv6 FE80 colon colon 1. So config, uh, the configuration is straightforward. First, we need to enable IPv6 unicast routing and then uh, we also need to enable on VLAN interface to support IPv6. Since there is no IP address assigned yet on VLAN interface, that's why we required 
uh, to enable IPv6. So as we can see, switch 2 is currently working as a active gateway. So let's so do so standby. So switch 2 currently forwarding data to the internet. State is active and virtual IP address is F E 8 0 and this is the virtual MAC address of switch 2 and uh, if you're talking about standby router this is the link local address of switch 1 so we can verify using do so uh, do so IP v6 interface brief on switch number 1 as we can see VLAN number 1 has a, a link local address FE80C001 so switch 1 is a working as a excuse me let me verify yes switch 1 is a working as a standby do so standby there you go on router this is supposed to get IP address automatically so interface F0 slash 0 no shutdown IPv6 address auto config as well as use the default route to direction of a gateway. Likewise on host 2 interface gig0 slash not gig0 it is F0 slash 0 no shutdown IPv6 address get automatically input default route. So these two routers are going to send a solicitation messages to the gateways. Once they get reply back, they are going to install a default route. So now, now check, do so, so IPv6 route. As we can see, we do have a default route in direction of a gateway which has IP address FE80 colon colon 1 likewise on host 2 do so ipv6 root so i have a default root next thing we need to figure out where we sending data using switch 1 or a switch 2 so let me enable ipv6 icmp excuse me debug ipv6 icmp Likewise on switch 2, I am going to enable IPv6, excuse me, debug IPv6 ICMP. So from, from host 1, I am going to ping FE80 colon colon 1. My exit interface is interface F0 slash 0. And as we can see, we are getting reply back from switch Two, because this is the MAC address of host 1. Likewise, we can also check this thing on host 2. So ping fe80 colon colon 1 using my interface f0 slash 1. There we go. So let me disable the interface VLAN number 1. So shut it down. Now switch 1 going to take over that virtual IP address in virtual MAC address and as we can see it is active now. So standby group. So currently I am working as a standby. Excuse me, I am working as an active and I don't know who is standby since I am not getting any hello message from switch 2 because VLAN uh, uh, interface VLAN 1 is down. So same thing we can configure for HS, uh, sorry, same thing we can configure for GLPP. So let me disable no standby group number 1 likewise on this router or uh, this gateway interface VLAN number 1 no standby group number 1 and let apply GLBP so GLBP 
first let me use do uh, undebug do you all undebug all on do you all then after the configuration interface VLAN number one GLBP group number one and then after IPv6 address uh, this time I'm going to use FE80 colon colon let's say 12 likewise on this router GLBP group number one IPv6 address FE80 colon colon 1 2 uh, so on router I think I need to flap the link because let's verify the route regarding IPv6 uh, I getting from this one so let me flap the link interface f0 slash 0 shut it down and uh, configure terminal interface f0 slash 0 shut down and bring it back no shut now they are going to generate a router solicitation then one of router going to reply that this is my IP address you can use as a gateway so currently as we can see I am working as a active uh, virtual gateway as well as active virtual forwarder for forwarder number one as well as on switch one we can see uh, I am active for forwarder number 2 so we can verify we can also verify do so glbp ipv6 excuse me so glbp and we have brief so I am standby for active virtual gateway but currently I am working for this virtual MAC address and I am listening for this virtual MAC address likewise we can check on same thing on switch 2 so, so glbp in brief currently I am active virtual gateway as well as active virtual forwarder for this virtual MAC address and I am listening for this virtual MAC address likewise on host we can see so ipv6 root we supposed to have default root direction of uh, direction of a router which have a fe8 colon colon one two likewise on this one so ipv6 root similarly we can verify sending packet so let me ping fe80 colon colon 12 using my exit interface as a f0 slash 0 and we getting reply back as well same thing we can also do right there fe80 colon colon 12 and this is the exit interface we getting reply back so in upcoming section we are going to discuss about VRRP version 3 since there is a little bit more thing we, which we need to know apart from, uh, apart from uh, these two topics like, uh, like HSRP and VRRP excuse me uh, HSRP and GLBP so in, in upcoming section we are going to discuss about VRRP version 3.